The guards are far away. On three, we take up. One, two. Look, over there. A monster strikes. Everyone back to the penitentiary. Another failed escape plan. Look, the monster has been lurking right here. No panic, please. Calm and serenism. I'm getting the best hunter in the West here to track it. <laughs> this right here is definitely a monster. <laughs> uh, hi, Beaver. I'm Renton Dumb. What's your name? I need four porters who aren't phased easy. Perfect. I'll bring that critter back to you. And the Daltons, too, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> this critter is smart. Didn't stay out in the open. As soon as we're out of the open, we take off. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? ma, -ma, -ma, -ma maybe we sh sh should grab our chance at escape. Okay, you go first. Look, something moved over there. The monster! <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? I caught four critters. <laughs> The monster! Yeah, my friend is over there. <laughs> We're camping out here for the night. Now, uh, what's for dinner? <laughs> the tree? Come on, don't be fussy. This is really good. You eat those slugs right now. As soon as it gets dark, we take her rifle. How about some room for me? <laughs> So now who's laughing? <laughs> Where you hit it? <laughs> she must be following our tracks. We have to lose her off ground. Hmm. Hmm. Well, a flying beaver. Yeah. <laughs> Carry me. I was getting kind of yeah. tired there. I watch! I can steer myself by wiggling my ears! Trying to follow our tracks now, Nelly Rocket. <laughs> I think that monster can catch us now. Better make a fire. That drives critters away. Good idea. I'll go and get some supplies. And what do we do then? We take the sticks and bang. 
Yo, beaver buddy! See, Joe? With a little bit of patience, the fire starts. Yeah, well, go ahead and have a little party without me. I thought we were friends. I'm disappointed. Hmm. Ow! That's nothing. Just caught a few flames and all. Uh -huh. Yo, you Go set the whole forest on fire! <laughs> no, 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 no. I will not sing happy birthday. <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> 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 But what happened to the Daltons? Did the monster make such a dreadful mess of them? No, I did. But I know where the monster is. Uh, I see. Where? No. <laughs> 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 Nothing interesting. Huh? I have a plan. Huh? Read this. Tater fritters with bacon for four people, four kilos of... Ah. Hurricane threatens Louisiana. Cormac City prison evacuated. One, imminent catastrophe. Two, panic. Three, prison evacuated. Four, escape! But there's no hurricane here. Who cares? What counts is that Peabody believes a catastrophe is coming. <laughs> Mr. Peabody, something terrible is about to happen. Well, 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 what terrible thing? <laughs> something really terrible. Look at the signs. There, vultures soaring. Huh? I saw a black cat. The cat? Where's the cat? Dogs howl mournfully. <laughs> Flies write messages in the air. Catastrophe. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. This month, I am selling this fabric woven from coyote hair for $10. Wear it as a... a loincloth, or a shawl, or a bath towel, and... An Indian prophecy! Catastrophe! Absolutely right! Lovely fabric plus Indian prophecy for catastrophe for only $20! That's scary! We must evacuate the prison! Come on, nothing but a bunch of silly superstition out of the question. But, uh, the signs. What signs? I'll believe a catastrophe's heading here when chickens grow teeth. <laughs> Avril and Jack, find the chickens. We'll get the teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you ninny. Ta da! Huh? Well, where are the hens? <coughs> Did Peabody say when eggs grow teeth? This was more discreet. We just need to hatch them. Ah. Cluck, 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 cluck. <laughs> Maybe there was a chicken disguised as a cat. Cat one! Me too! No, I'm flying! <laughs> <laughs> the teeth! <laughs> that tickled! <laughs> oh! Here he comes! 
Mr. Peabody, look, behind you, chickens with teeth. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. We can't wait forever, Mr. Peabody. What chickens? Ah! If you fly once again, fly forever. <laughs> so, what does the cloth say? Oh, it's not so easy. A snake or tree? <laughs> and flying teeth, what does that sign mean? Uh -huh. But since I'm telling you that chickens grew teeth, we have to evacuate. Joe, I will evacuate the prison. When donkeys fly. <laughs> huh? When a dog starts acting strange, can it be a sign of catastrophe, Mr. Peabody? Sometimes it's better not to think about things like that. <laughs> Look! A flying donkey! <laughs> oh, no. It's not flying. Hey, oh! What do you mean it's not flying? Flying means being in movement. That one. Oh, come dirty. on, don't be so fussy. That donkey is flying! Anyway, it's not a donkey, it's a mule. Huh? Well, it's a flying mule! No, no, it's floating. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying this, we're in for a catastrophe. We will leave when a herd of pink elephants dances the polka on the trampoline in a rainstorm of violin playing frogs. Hey. Uh, this could take some time, but it could happen. Oh. Uh, certain information related to the legends of uh, flying teeth tell us that the catastrophe will take place in uh, uh, 12 minutes. And now this cloth is worth $45. <gasps> Aha! Something's on fire in the sky! Someone save us! Where? I say, these broken wing catastrophes aren't all that spectacular. We're safe! <laughs> Well, are you Dalton boys still holed up? <laughs> this plan was a catastrophe for real. <laughs> North Wind screams bad dreams. Let's hurry home, children. We're going to build a nightmare catcher. An arts and crafts class? <laughs> Mr. Peabody, sir, strong winds are predicted today. You don't say. <laughs> Ow! Joe, give me back my axe. That's not funny. You can say that again, not funny. I got a plan. Yeah. 
<laughs> Say, Miss Betty, that basket weaving class you wanted to do, when can we start? Why, you've refused that activity ten times over. You said we're Dalton brothers, not Dalton sisters. It's never too late to change your mind. Hey, Joe, did that axe to the face do this to you? Since when are we interested in basket weaving? Since it's our new escape plan. <laughs> These are bulrushes. That's what we use to weave baskets. There, you see? It's very simple. Over to you now. It's easy. Watch this. All in the wrist. Remember the way we tied a bank cashier? Same thing. So what's the plan? We make big empty balls, we climb inside, and the wind carries us up and out of here fast. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just part of learning. I'd rather your learning didn't get up my nose, but let's keep going. Well done, Joe. I had no idea you had talent as a teacher. <laughs> uh, that's original and quite modern. These are called eggs. The Broken Wings taught me this. See, you just shut yourself inside these eggs a few minutes every day and you find inner peace. Well, that is so moving, Joe. We really should reach out to each other. You and I are not so different after all. Uh, eggs? Mm -hmm. Decidedly, those Dalton brothers never fail to amaze me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you. Come on, let's go find our inner peace outside. The Daltons are escaping! Alert! I knew they were up to something. Those brothers are always up to something. Here, take this and bring them back. <laughs> I love catching butterflies! Uh, no! I didn't know butterflies could say ow! <laughs> you win some, you lose some! We are going to build a dream catcher that will stop nightmares from creeping into your dreams. Here's how we do it. Hmm. With wind this strong, we have to make a big one. <laughs> He's right. Time to get out. <laughs> but Joe, it's stuck. I can't open it. I don't believe it. I can't either. Excellent. Now we'll sleep like a totem log. Good night, little braves and scrolls. Good night, Dr. Ah, ah, this chain is a real pain. Oh, oh. That's what a nightmare looks like. It's really ugly. How right you are. Let's take you back to the land of nightmares. Hi there, fabulous falcon. Okay, things don't look great for us, but we can make a deal, right? Dream about it. <clears throat> huh? Nightmare delivery time. <laughs> hey, Daltons. What made you breeze in like this? <laughs> <laughs> Inmates who agree 
to sign up for the Foreign Legion will have their sentence annulled after five years. Volunteers, take a step forward! What? That amounts to stealing my inmates! I object! Governor's orders. Well, who's ready to embark on an exciting adventure serving the Foreign Legion? We are! We're willing to sign up for your Legion thing. Once we're outside, we'll ditch this clown fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not the Daltons. They just want to escape. Their perversity knows no limits. In 30 years, no one man has deserted. Legionnaire's word. Attention! Start marching to base! Sir, where's the wagon that's taking us there? What wagon? Base is only 50 miles away. And don't forget your gear, either! Ooh. Owie! Ooh! Camel's with a big hump! I need a closer look! Who is as strong as a bear? No worries and have no cares! Of course, it's the Legionnaires! The Legionnaires are the best! We never need me to rest! Yeah. Adios! We're too old to play Boy Scouts, dudes! Hey, Legionnaire! Trying to desert? Protect your failing duty! How about this? So Camus' humps are full of potatoes. Flying with your food is forbidden! Double potato ah. peeling duty! You! Ah. <laughs> Get out! Time to escape! <laughs> Early to rise, guys! Bravo! Okay, men, here's your first mission. You're going to observe weather conditions from a hot air balloon. Altitude? Okay! Wind direction? Okay! Great! That cloud will never be able to catch us in a hot air balloon. But how do you steer a hot air balloon, Joe? Oh, who cares, dude? Cause we're free! I think knowing how could be useful. Oh. <laughs> we're going to crash into that cliff! We need to get out! <laughs> Throw everything overboard, guys! <laughs> we're still too heavy! Huh? Admiral, get rid of all this! Oh, no! Sergeant Flynn won't be happy! <laughs> well, weather conditions. Mission accomplished, sir! Ninny. No, there are no ninnies in this camp, but loads of potatoes! Start peeling! Careful, Joe, there's still some skin on this one! Come on, things will get better, Joe. Anyway, they couldn't get worse. A female bear is terrorizing the population. It's the Legion's duty to capture it. You men will imitate baby bears to attract it, and Evro will put the critter to sleep with this rifle full of tranquilizers. <laughs> Forget the bear. This time we're getting away for good. But our mission, Joe. Ah, your mission is to. <laughs> Everell, fire that <laughs> rifle. <laughs> Of being a sharpshooter. Who said that you could rest? Potato Judy! I'm giving you men a new chance to prove that you are true legionnaires. It's absolutely crucial that this dynamite be delivered to our state mine. But watch out. You have to cross the Broken Wings Tribe's sacred burial grounds. That requires courage, rigor, and stealth. Yes, sir! You can count on us, sir! Yeah, yeah, we get the picture. Adios! I mean, see you later, sir! <laughs> this time we're out of here! Adios, Legion, trumpets, potato peeling, and all that! <laughs> that bizarre camel seems really good at jogging. Here's the Indian reservation, so now be real quiet. I don't want to end up as an Indian's bedside rug. Hmm? Potato feeling duty! Farewell, Sergeant. Your regiment was truly unique. Uh, oh. Shut up, Triple 
Little Ninny, someone will hear you. Mm -hmm. Speed up before we get skewered. We'll uh -oh. face this in our sacred burial grounds. Attack! Ooh, looks like handles. Ah! Everything is going to explode. Take the reins. <laughs> Nothing like an aerial view to admire this magnificent camel species. Abriel! Don't worry, Sergeant Flint taught me how to read a map. This should take us. Back to the Indians. How peaceful. The prison is surprisingly calm since the Daltons left. It's so depressing. Yes, but thanks to Sergeant Flint, the Daltons have a purpose in life at last. Oh! Crater back. We nearly had a war with Indians because of them. I had to intervene personally to stop that from happening. Oh! Oh, what a shame that is. <sighs> Pete, Emmett, take them back to their cell. Oh. Great! I can now observe these special camel species closely in captivity. Dinner time! And lucky you, you're having french fries. I... I don't... Don't want... I never ever want to hear about potatoes! In accordance with new safety policies, the government has voted that a fire station be set up inside each penitentiary. A specialist is here today to set this system up. Allow me to introduce Miss Nina. She'll train volunteer firemen among you, <laughs> responsible for our penitentiary's securism. We're looking for men with a taste for danger and a skill at improvising. Any volunteers? <laughs> this. Uh, uh. Here's the plan. We set Peabody's office on fire, go in there, grab the key, into the fire truck, and out the front gate. <laughs> For your first mission, put out a fire. There are four techniques. Smother it. <laughs> Drown it. Oh. Blow it out. <gasps> or wait until it dies out. <gasps> Hello. You're not too chatty. Maybe that's because you speak another language. Your second mission, save victims, which means one, recuperate right here. Such courage. Two, carry the victim delicately. Three, uh -huh. resuscitate, mouth to uh -huh. mouth. Uh, you go ahead. No, you go first. You. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Imbecile! <laughs> Fire! <laughs> Get it? You're playing in a silent movie. It's all in your eyes, right? Silent movie acting. Yeah. Two on pumps and two in house with me. Uh, no. Forward! <laughs> now? What did we forget now? The hoe? The ho ho? The ho bo? The hosiery? The ho? The hoes! <laughs> Did you two down there forget to pump? 
Now, we have to retrieve the pick? Uh, the victuals? The victims! Ah, the exit! No! <laughs> Miss Betty! the penitentiary's official firefighters, and Averill for your heroic conduct, I hereby appoint you to the Order of Courage with this crystal medal. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm a fine actor, you know. Joy, pain, anger, and tenderness. <laughs> okay, ready? <gasps> Start again. Ready? Emergency! Curiosity! Yeah. Ah. Yeah, you're so humble, Miss. Okay, things should be quiet now. Sorry, an accident with the candle. Always prepare. That's a true firefighter. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Now, Miss Nina, the fire is just too powerful. Time to pull out the stumps. Ah. Ah. Change of program! <laughs> Here we go! It doesn't look like your usual fire tactics. Indeed! It looks more like an escape! We're free! <laughs> yeah, what a chase sequence! How many hours of training did that take? <laughs> and with all this dynamite, wait till we hit the bank! <laughs> Baboom! <laughs> <laughs> Amateurs. No, unlucky. Is the movie over? Are we able to talk now? Man, close your mouth. I can see you. No, I get it. You must have an invisible illness. That can't be fun. <laughs> Happy with the installation? Perfect. Will you remind everyone that a dental checkup once a year is mandatory? <laughs> everyone but me being the director and having perfect teeth. <laughs> Including you. Don't you worry, Mr. Director. With these modern tools, you'll only feel just a tickle. It won't hurt at all. I see. <laughs> Fine. For now, uh, time for lunch. Did you say lunch? <laughs> mm. Hey, are we gonna eat, Joe? No, we're gonna escape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, time to work. William, start pedaling. <laughs> What's happened to you now? Apparently, he's eating cloves. And he's allergic, so his mouth is swollen shut. At least we can have some peace. You keep watch. <laughs> Delicious meal, thank you. The pleasure's all mine. Nothing's too good for two beautiful women like you. <laughs> you have a cavity right there. Go brush your teeth. I'll take care of this straight away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Ah, why is this taking so long? <laughs> well, what is it? <laughs> Why didn't you warn us earlier, you ninny? You really are useless. <laughs> First you see teeth, then you see the feet. What a weird illness. Mr. Peabody, it's your turn. Mr. Peabody. Yeah, time for my work. Stay there. Huh? I know a way to make it work. Mr. Peabody? Mr. Peabody? Ah! Mr. Peabody? Uh, yes, yes, I'm on my way. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Perfect. When we start again, let's start higher. Mr. Peabody? Mr. Peabody? Mr. Peabody? Mr. Peabody? If you guys are looking for the invisible man, he's over there. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Mr. Peabody, oh. as director, you should be setting a good example. I should. I'll say you're on your way. <laughs> huh? Anyone here? Oh. Allow me to introduce my charming assistants. We'll look after you. Your ah, ladies. Sit down, relax. Don't worry. What does anesthetic mean? It means nighty night. <laughs> Come on, let's get this over with. Oh. <laughs> it's the Daltons! They're trying to escape! <laughs> what a terrible case of hiccups! It's horrible, poor people! Something must be done! Frying them, almost invisible men! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know how to laugh! Oh, a real misery, God's... Oh. <laughs> Are we escaping or not? No, oh dear. That looks contagious. But where the almost invisible man go? <laughs> it's nitrous oxide, an anesthetic, also known as laughing gas. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.